Uh, I don't think going in there is a good idea. Guys. Are you serious? I gotta go in there? I don't wanna go in there. Does it want to die? I don't get it. What's happening right now? I guess not. What am I supposed to do about that? I need to throw a box in there? What do I need to do? Here's a box. Nope, give me that. Coming through. <laughs> Look at how it waddles. I'm sorry. I can't get over this. I got, yeah, I'm sure this thing, like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening right now. Get in there. <gasps> Flaming box. Oh. Wow, this thing just doesn't give a shit, does it? What? Oh, you assholes. Alright, fine. We'll do it your way. You can't stop the bum rush, folks! <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna set off the fire alarm and open the emergency door. These guys are like, oh shit, no, don't let it do that! It's doing it! He's doing it! Uh, fire in the hole! Oh boy. Oh boy. Emergency! Emergency! Everything's on fire! Don't worry, I'm getting out of here. What's this thing's endgame? Where are you going? What are you gonna do when you get out of here anyway? <laughs> I made a little scream. Yes, bring the food carts. What is this? This would be cooler if I was, like, absorbing everybody I came into contact with. Oh, is this... Yeah, let's do this. No, no what are you doing? Get over here. Okay, there's the markers. Thanks for putting those there, game designers, just because I couldn't figure this shit out on my own. Uh, are we going over here? <laughs> that was dumb. What noises is this thing making? Are these guys trying to let it out? I don't get it. Shit. No, no, no. Climb on top. What is this doing? What the hell? Is this what I gotta do? is this? Do I gotta go through the other side? I think I gotta go to the other side. God, this thing is so hard to control. You don't understand how difficult this thing is to control. I guess it's B. You know what I mean, though. It's, it's just hard to control, man. Like, I'm telling it to go up. It doesn't want to do it. God, it is not going, is it?
These guys are just watching this. It won't grab it. It just won't fucking do it. Oh my god. Oh, wait. I got it. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I got it now. I got it now. How is this thing holding itself up? Grab it. You have done well, minions! But seriously, why are these things helping it? I mean, these things. Why are these people helping it? I don't understand. What's the point? What is happening? What is going on? Alright, it's made a hole in the wall. We're going in the hole. In the wall. Let's go. Climb up. Get inside. Let's do this. Come on. Get, get up. You globular mass of... Ugh. Just pus and flesh and that little kid's being absorbed into the hive mind there. Hey, yo, what's this? Oh, okay. They're going to help me. Okay, here you go. Take it. Wow, thanks, guy! You are helpful as... Oh my god, are you for real? It didn't work? The door shut? Oh my god, doesn't stay open here! Go, take it. Do it again. Why are you guys helping me? I don't understand. We're free! Okay, what's this? What is this now? Oh, they're trying to tempt me into going onto that thing. I'm not gonna do it. Fuck you, I'm getting out of here. Why is just why? All of this why? Yeah, saw that coming. All right, now what do we got here? Any way to get out of here? I don't think so, I think we're fucked. Okay. Oh. Hello. You have a flaw in your plan. Escape! Aha! We can go on out of here. Wow, that's a pretty shitty container you got there, if it's that's all it does. It's got like a half inch of steel between it and the outside world. You dumbasses, you deserve to have this thing escape. Do not raise up what you cannot put down! No, I'm not going that way. Adi up! This is just not okay. Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> so, okay, they're trying, to, they were just trying to help it so they could contain it again, so they're not really trying to help it. Fine, I get that, but just. Ugh. And they put their containment cell this close to the outside world? Are you serious? God, these guys are fucking stupider than Wailing Yutani.
And where are the guys with the guns? Surely they should be here by now. Free! As free as the wind blows. Oh, if this kid comes popping out of this and then starts the whole game over, I'm gonna be mad. No, okay, we're on the beach. Okay. Nah, get up. Get up, shitlord. Come on. What are you doing? Get up! Get up! Pressing all the buttons. Is the camera panning out? Is the camera panning out? What is happening right now? Hello? Don't you dare end there, leaving me completely unfulfilled and completely oblivious to what was going on. Don't you do that. Come on, I'm pressing all the buttons. I want you to get up. I want you to get up. I want you to get up. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it, isn't it? <coughs> That's it, isn't it? Oh, fantastic. Great. Art Jensen. All right. So, fair enough, I guess. So that was inside. Oh, let's take a stretch there. I'm not happy. I'm not fulfilled. I'm not not going away content. I like when games do this. They present you with an interesting world, and they present you with interesting things inside that world, and they establish this whole scenery. What I don't like is this habit games have, or stories in general, of leaving things open and saying, well, it's up to you to fill in the blanks. I don't see that as strong world building a lot of the time. And that's not to say, like, there needs to be questions. There needs to be opened uh, stuff. Yeah, I get that. But at the same time, there's too many questions here. You didn't wrap anything up. Again, why are they... Were they growing the zombies, or were they, like, infecting the zombies? You had that pig there with an alien sort of worm inside of it. Was that, like, what was that? That was never explained. It's the only time in the game it showed up. Was that worm that controlled this pig's actions. That's the only time it showed up, so why was it there? Ugh. This, uh, blob thing. Did it control all the zombies or, like, not? Like, I think it controlled all the zombies, yeah. But then, why were the zombies doing menial tasks and stuff, and why could other people control them? If it could control all the zombies, why didn't it break up before? If it could control this one kid, why couldn't it free itself with the other zombies? Why did it need this one kid to do it? Like, it's just there's too many questions that aren't answered at the end of it. And... It, it doesn't leave me feeling good at the end of it. Yeah, okay, so that just sends you right back to the beginning. Yeah, okay, yeah. So it, it doesn't leave me feeling good at the end of it because I, I still have too many questions that it has not answered. And so, I, I don't know. Like, I... I mean, the gameplay was fun. The puzzles were kind of cool. I just... Mm, I was expecting more out of the story. Even with Limbo, you got kind of an idea of what was going on. There were enough clues that you're like, okay, you know, it's Limbo. He's dead. He's constantly reliving this, like, last few moments of his life, I guess. But it's, you know, this one presents itself as an actual world with actual lore and actual stories. And I need actual conclusions to be happy with that story. And I'm not. And that's disappointing, I guess. But all in all, it is, like I said, I got this game free, so I'm not going to, I can't be too mad at it. But... All in all, I'd say, honestly, if you got, like, 5 to $10, well, obviously, if you've seen this, I think you're kind of blown. It's it's kind of ruined, because the appeal is the puzzles. You've seen how to solve all the puzzles, and you've also seen me find all the collectibles. So, all in all, I'd say this was about a five-and-a-half-hour game, and one of those hours was me completely running around the world like an idiot trying to find the last collectibles. So, really, it's more like a four-hour game, if that. So, strictly monetary-wise... If you're talking, like, most games you can find give you at least a dollar, like, you pay a dollar an hour, so, like, five bucks would be pushing it for this. Maybe ten, as an indie title. I mean, that's up to you how much you want to pay, but there's plenty of games where you can pay five dollars and it's a 30-hour game. So, as far as price goes, eh. The story, 
eh, the graphics, fantastic. Holy shit. The, the, the mechanics, fantastic. Holy shit. When they were moving behind stuff and uh, how the world was like 3D but isometric, and it was beautiful. So, like, amazing for that. But I, 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 you can't charge $20 for that <laughs> and have four to five hours of that. I mean, people will still pay it, obviously. I mean, people will still pay it, but that's enough out of me. Uh, that was inside all the collectibles. I might update it to say 100% collectibles, I think. I'll go look to see if I missed any collectibles, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. Um, but yeah, so that was Blinder 187 doing inside. I'm kind of happy to be back, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, who knows if this was just a one-off or if there's going to be more after this. But I guess we'll figure that out soon enough. So till potentially next time, Blyrunner187, you guys take care of yourselves out there. Bye-bye.